Hi, I've got some questions uh, to do with Microsoft Office Accounting Express 2009 and how to account for certain transactions. Um, hoping that I'll be able to get an answer to some of these queries so that I can get on with um, getting my bookkeeping done. And I thought that a video might be a good way to just sort of show you exactly what it is that I'm trying to achieve. Um, okay, the if I bring up the um, screen which I've got in front of me, this is Microsoft Office Accounting Express 2009, the UK version. And um, what uh, what I'm trying to do is work out just how to basically, when I've spent some money, how to account for it. Um, and um, so, for example, if I'm making a payment, uh, I don't understand why the option, the only three options are supplier prepayment, customer refund, or an employee reimbursement. Um, I mean, it's three different payment documents it says, I really don't understand what that means. Um, that's question number one. Um, do I need to edit that or something and say, you know, just enter a payment that is cash, for example, or enter, enter a payment that is um, just a payment? Because, um, you know, it's, it's coming up here. Um, asking me um, exactly what what the prepayment is. Do I do prepayments? Is that what it's doing? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, uh, there's another option down here that says nominal activity. Um, so I've got my main account there, um, business account. And I was trying to add some transactions to the business um, main bank account. Um, I was trying to import them as OFX files that didn't, as CSV files that didn't work. Um, so the little, the little alternative is to add them individually, and I'm not sure if this is the right way to do that. But this is this is another question I've got about this software: is are there any you know training videos that are aimed at the UK um, for this software? Um, and do you get them if you're, you know, an accredited or professional um, sign, signed up accountant with the Microsoft Office accounting um, system? Um, so, how do I, you know, how do I basically add a transaction? What do I need to set up in the chart of accounts? Because um, I'm not VAT registered, but I think there was about three or four transactions within the period I'm accounting for that I was VAT registered before I deregistered. Um, so here this is um, select transaction. So what I'm, I'm doing is I'm entering a payment because um, I've paid for something, I guess. Um, but again, it's asking me for these payment documents choice. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I need to be doing there. It's not an employee reimbursement. Um, but if I was paying myself, then would that be employee reimbursement? I think that's probably where I would um, pay myself, for example, um, and do a transaction there. But it, it, it's kind of, no, oh, that's, that's reimbursement for something that's been purchased by myself, I would guess, for the business. Okay. Um, but the thing is that every time I have to do that, I have to add a new product as a service or a non-stop product. Um, and I don't really, I don't really understand exactly what I need to set up there, because you know I might have to enter a lot of um, different, you know, for everything that I purchase, would that be set up as being a different item or are these kind of categories? I'm not exactly sure. Um, so that's that's kind of um, where I'm at with this so far. Um, And I've probably got more questions, but I'll, I'll pop them across if I come across them. Thanks for...